Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss about after end of this session, what we will create. So friend, we will develop one complete multi-authentication system with using that Laravel chat stream. And for now, we are using Laravel's latest version as a 9.7.0 and my PHP version as 8.1. So into the our database there are the two type of table one is the user table and there is the admin table So from here you can create some of the user if you go to our project over here We install that Laravel JD stream how to install that Laravel JD stream stream if you want to create some of the register user So that is our register URL from here. You can create some of the new user as per your demand Okay, so now if you want to log in with the user so that will be as a logging page and to the logging right now if you want to access our user logging like i have already created some of the user if you go you can see the user at the red gmail.com and they have on the password and here if you want to pass your appropriate e email address like as a user user at the red gmail.com and password you do me one two three four five now if you click as a logging right now you are successfully able to logging and you can see so display as a high user so now that is display which user is logging logging username and also from here if you want to upload some of the images there is a profile now you can see there is a profile images how to upload some of the images i will also show you that things with the live example and now from here if you want to log out so right now it will be returned direct to our home page now if you want to that is a logging page that is for the user logging and if you want to access our admin logging if you click as admin slash logging now that should be loaded another logging page you can see there is an another logging page so here if you put your admin name that means in our uh, database table there is another table i have created as an admin now that is admin name as an admin email at admin at the gmail.com and password as a password so now i want to access it that will be as admin at the red gmail.com password as a password if you put appropriate password now click as a login here you can see right now it's successfully returned redirect to the admin dashboard okay and it's display as a high admin so when you successfully logging with the admin you are not able to access our user dashboard how to protect it i will also show you like you say you are not able to logging okay you are not able to access our user dashboard uh, like right now if you go to that admin dashboard so that is our admin dashboard perfect and now from here if you click as a logout now you can see successfully log out if you want to access our default logging page and here if you put um inappropriate like i log on to do under login with the admin email address as the admin at the rate gmail.com password as a password now uh, you should be successfully get our credential you can see it successfully get that credential great and now here only you have to do you have to use that our appropriate username as a user at the gmail.com password you do me one two three four five now logging you are successful you are able to successfully logging as a high user okay and when you successfully logging by the user you are able to access our user dashboard but right now i'm logging with the user if you want to access our admin dashboard how to protect this url with using that middleware i will also show you like as the admin slash dashboard now if you want to access it now you can see it's successfully returned redirect to the admin dashboard okay how to protect it i will show you and now if you go to the logout now if you want to access our admin login okay admin logging and from to the admin logging you can see now new logging is loaded and here if you put your admin not admin i want to use that as a user okay and that means inappropriate email address and password if you give me one two three four five click as a logging you are not able to logging you can see it's not successfully get that credential that is not appropriate not match in our record here if you want to access with our admin logging you have to use that appropriate admin email address and password i make it as a password now if you click as a logging when both of this will be done then you are able to access our admin dashboard so how can create this type of one of the multi authentication system with using laravel jd stream and right now i'm using laravel latest version as a 9.7 how to work in there and also for our every lecture i push this code to the github you will get all that lecture by lecture code so i hope you will like it very much so if you're ready then let's get started 